It's an honor to be here with the mayor, uh, with faith leaders from San Francisco, for so many members of the official family of San Francisco, Senator Leno and others. I'm particularly pleased to be here with my daughter, Christine, who went with Rita to Israel in the 90s when she brought a youth group to Israel. Uh, Christine always says to me, Mom, this interfaith, what you do is so important because it's a recognition of what faith means to people. Lots of times people say, where is hope? Where are we going to find hope? Well, hope is there sitting where it always was, right between faith and charity. If people have faith, it gets them through. Because if they can, that, that those who speak about charity and love will act upon that, that belief that gives people hope. Rita Semmel has given many people hope. The Interfaith Council has given many, many people uh, hope. Rita taught me the difference decades ago between ecumenical and interfaith. <laughs> we had to make that transition. Uh, before I say more about Rita, uh, in my, some things I want to tell you about her, that from my experience, I, I want to make one other addition to the many things that Reverend Delange and, and uh, Michael Pappas and others have said about her. And as I see Sissy Swig here, I'm reminding, reminded of the interfaith effort to build a Holocaust memorial in San Francisco. Remember, uh, Sissy was the artistic leader of it. Uh, Rhoda Goldman had us at her home all the time. But it was an interfaith effort. And I could see uh, Rita in action at that time. I had met her long before through Naomi Lauder, uh, her dear friend. And uh, uh, Naomi was always heralding uh, the, the wonder that Rita Samuel is. Well, here in San Francisco, we are blessed with such beautiful diversity as this program demonstrated, uh, has demonstrated throughout with representatives of different faiths. And so people say to me frequently in Washington, oh, it's easy for you, you are so tolerant in San Francisco. And they mean that when, whether we're talking about different faiths, different nationalities, different ethnic groups, different sexual orientations, gender identity. And so you, you have it all wrong. It, in San Francisco, it's not about tolerance. It's about respect. It's about taking pride in our diversity. In our diversity. And we have, we have uh, as our anthem, the Song of St. Francis, uh, Make Me an Instrument of Thy Peace, and we assemble as an instrument of God's peace by bringing us all together, respecting our faith because of the, the deep respect we have for our own beliefs. We can project that and respect the, res the respect others have of their beliefs. And the fact that it's all fundamentally about respect of every person, that everyone has got a, a child of God, that everyone carries a spark of divinity in them, that every person is worthy of respect. That is worthy of respect. So at this time, at this Thanksgiving, we have a great deal to be thankful for in our community, our understanding, our wisdom of the value of every person. Uh, but at this Thanksgiving, we are very, very grateful that Rita Semmel was born and that we are all here to honor her 90th birthday. I can't believe that. We were having a discussion about Rita being 80 at our table and how wonderful she looks for 80. <laughs> <laughs> and here she is telling us that she is 90. Uh, but in any case, uh, again, uh, more about Rita Semmel. As if she embodies the spirit that is so, so very beautiful. And it's hard to think of anyone has been more instrumental in advancing the cause and the mission of the San Francisco Interfaith Council than my friend Rita Semmel. I had my most recent meeting, oh, I, w I wouldn't say my last meeting because you know that's not so, <laughs> but my most recent, latest meeting with the Interfaith Council leadership, was it about two or three weeks ago, Rita? Uh, Father uh, Privet, where your father Privet called us together at UC University of San Francisco, uh, and uh, the interfaith leadership was there to talk about how we could stop what was happening in Congress to the budget that, and how that was going to hurt uh, poor people and uh, elderly people in our community. Uh, but of course, we had plenty of ideas about we, what we could do about that, and uh, that is where we have our.
beliefs and then we act upon them and then uh, uh, hopefully stop or encourage a better public policy because it's all about just the fundamentals of, of the Gospel of Matthew, of course. And uh, she was, uh, again, as, as Michael has said, when she speaks, and Father Reverend uh, uh, mentioned as well, when she speaks, you know she's right, so let's not waste any time. Let's just cut right to it, Rita said. And uh, oh, that's a, it's a big time saver when you... Uh, <laughs> and Rita's all about time, and so I won't... <laughs> But, it, what, you know, look, from the civil rights move to women's rights, from serving the homeless, as we've heard, from supporting Israel to empowering students, Rita helped uh, San Francisco Interfaith Council to secure, to work for the common good. She has used cooperation and outreach and her just personal charm. This is a very special personality to fulfill the biblical instrument, instruction, justice, justice you shall pursue. At the Jewish Community Relations Council, that's really where I first met Rita, uh, she eff uh, effectively created the field of community relations. And from what that means, community, that's a big word. Relations, that's a big word. Together, the synergy is very, very significant. Strengthening ties within the Jewish community and establishing bonds with leaders and organizations of other faiths. Uh, she has long understood that repairing the world requires relationships and collaborations. Uh, it demands our recognition, recognition that out of many, we are one, one community, one city, one nation. In short, everything Rita has achieved has been defined by building bridges between cultures and religions and faith and within, within communities, as well, specific faiths as well. So, can you think of any better way to, uh, to pay tribute to Rita's legacy? Uh, not so fast with the legacy. I know you have a lot more work to do, but uh, as we pause at this uh, significant birthday, whatever it might be, uh, so uh, to pay tribute to Rita's legacy to the bridges she built and maintained across the decades of advocacy, then the establishment of the San Francisco Interfaith Council, Rita R. Semmel Endowment Fund for Interfaith Work. Congratulations. <laughs> You'll probably be getting a call about that. <laughs> it is the least we could do to express our gratitude to a great leader for making our city a place of understanding, of, of respect, and compassion. In the spirit of Rita Semmel and the tradition of the SFIC, let us pledge on this Thanksgiving to build, to continue the task of building bridges. And then that infrastructure work, I would add, building ladders for people to reach their success removing obstacles for many, because some people just, it's not just about building bridges to others, it's about lifting them up. That's in the spirit of reigniting the American dream, which is what our country is about, the most enduring theme in our country. So we're building bridges, we're building ladders of success, we're taking people, and Rita has been the, just the master of this, taking people to help them survive first, and then helping them be successful from survival to success, to realize what they can do, and that is transformation, and that's a very beautiful thing when people can realize uh, what they can do and what they then can contribute back. Uh, so let us continue the, uh, in this time of economic struggle and challenge. Let us go back to that meeting we had a couple of weeks ago and how we're going to feed the hunger and fight those who want to cut the food stamp. Well, not to get into that. <laughs> Don't get me started on that. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, the simple formula that was given uh, to us in the Gospel of Matthew of feeding the hunger when I was hungry, when I was homeless, when I needed clothing, uh, the rest of it, just the basics that indicate the respect that we have for the, self, the worth of every person. Let us strengthen the bonds of friendship and give thanks for the blessings around us. Thank you, San Francisco Interfaith Council. Thank you, Michael Pappas. What a blessing you are to Rita and to all of us. Uh, 
I'm sure that you're sprouting your own wings and flying is a joy to her uh, since she gave you such deep roots to be, uh, uh, be confident about what you're doing. So here we all are out leaving home, that the, no, not even the crack of dawn before that, <laughs> to come together uh, for a new day, read a Semmel day, as we would later learn in San Francisco, to be taught how to breathe, to rebreathe breath and air and rethink everything. That's about Rita. Forever young, Rita Semmel. Happy birthday, and thank you, Rita. <laughs>